What is going on, Tommy's world, man? What is going on? Today is December 14th, 2022. I am doing my third vlog in a row. I told y'all guys, man, I'm about to I'm about to flood you guys with a bunch of vlogs. I got some great stuff coming up next. I am on my way to my church to go set up my drum rack. I'm doing a new drum set set up for 2023. So I'm getting started early. And the reason why I'm getting started early is because I have a gig on the week of Christmas, a New Year's gig, then I got church as well. So I have a bunch of gigs and stuff coming up before the year end. So this uh, will be the, like the only day that I can actually do this vlog of me doing about the drum rack. So I need to make a couple of stops right now. I need to go to a music store because I need to go grab this clamp. My uh, church drums, they are the Maypex Armory Series drum. And so they have the clamp, but it clamps on to a uh, to a cymbal stand. But I'm putting this uh, the toms on my drum rack. But I will explain all that stuff later. Tommy's World with another Tommy's World vlog. Let's go. Let's pull it up, and I'm about to go in here and see if you have anything. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. So man, right now, man, I just brought this little stat splash. Man, y'all be slipping on stat cymbals, man. I'll be slipping on them stag symbols. I didn't have what I needed. Head to a music store, get to our center. I did not want to do that, but it is what it is. It's just my homeboy store, man. So he owned this store in Augusta called uh, 440 um, Instruments. So he always look out for me. Uh, I call him my plug, man. So that's why it's great to know people, treat people nice, man. And they'll treat you nice and they'll take care of you, man. So let's go. Put up to this place, man. Wait, let's go. Try to see if they have what I need. I don't see it, guys. Oh wow, they got that drum set in here. One right there. Dang, man, they ain't got what I need. That sucks, bro. So I'm gonna have to try one more music store. All right, man, on to the next. Yeah, so right now, man, I just put up to another music store. Portman's Music Superstore. Let's go see how super they are, though. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. So they didn't have what I needed. I just hope I find this piece. Now I'm at this other store that I've never been in. It's called Music and Art. I used to come to the store when it was called Center Stage. I haven't been in here since they changed the name. If they don't have it, I'm gonna try one more place, but it don't open until tomorrow, so I hope they have it today. All right, so guess what? They don't have it as well. So, um, I have some exciting news, man. So, all right, so the music store we about to go to, I got my first drum set from this guy. He been knowing me ever since I was like eight or nine. So he normally closed on Wednesdays, but he just told me for the whole month of December he's open. I'm pretty sure he has this piece that I need. So we will keep our fingers crossed. But I think he has it though. But that's the exciting news, man. He's open, so right now we about to go there and uh, go pick up this piece, man, so I can get started with this drum setup. Let's go. So yeah, man, I just pulled up to this music store, man. The name of this store is called Toby's TNT Music. I'm gonna get that one, guys. This volume's pretty good, it's a stag. Yeah, so man, guess what guys? I'm gonna show it to you. This is what I needed right here. This little ball part. I needed this little stem. I don't need this little, the, the tom holder part. I just need the little, this big silver part. This the part I needed. I knew he had it. So the only thing I gotta do is just switch out that ball right there. But yeah, man, he had it. Man, that's Mr. Toby, man. I've been knowing that guy ever since I was nine. I brought my first drum set from him. He always look out for me, man. Every time I come in, he always look out for me. If I need anything, like, guys, anything, he done gave me stuff for, like, free. Like, drum equipment for free. And I'm saying this on video because he have done it. I hope you don't get too mad at me. He's like one of the day one music stores. So I come by here every, every, month or every two months I just stop by here man I wouldn't even buy nothing and um we just stop man and just talk and he give me like words of wisdom and 
talk about music, talk about life, talk about marriage, talk about this, talk about that. Whatever, man. That's how cool Mr. Toby is. So that lime green drone said he want me to get that. I might get it, guys. I might get it. I might get it. I might get it. What y'all think? If y'all think I should get it, man, drop something in the comments, man. If y'all think I should get it. If y'all think I should get that drone set, drop something in the comments. And I might, I might end up pull the trigger on it, man. I might put a trigger on that drone. Peace out. So now that I have that piece, I am on my way to my church. Let's switch up the drum setup, but you'll see that. But before I head to my church, I have to go pick up my drum rack. Then I pick up my drum rack. I'm heading down to my church. My secretary go let me in. We go do the setup, man. So you know what? Let's go. Woo! So what's going on, everybody, man? So I just pulled up to my church. Uh, my secretary let me in inside of the church, as you can tell. Yup, I'm inside of the church. I'm pretty excited about this drum rack because I know a lot of people really don't uh, dig drum racks or whatever. But I must say about drum racks is, so if you have like a home studio, if you have like a church for example, or somewhere you don't move your drums a lot. I can say a studio or a church, I would say the drum rack comes in handy. Simple reason because it comes in handy is because it doesn't move so it stays there, you know. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably not moving your drum set at church every week or switching the set up every week. You'll probably switch it up every two or three months. Sometimes you may switch it up every six months. Sometimes you may never switch it up. I'm always switching drum setups because uh, when my mind thinks I'm weird. So I don't, I don't, I can't keep playing the same thing all the time. Probably sometime close to end of next year or sometime next year. I might want to add some more drums though. So I am going to add some more drums. I want to add another a side snare drum, which I should have already, but I'm just waiting on the sound, man. I hope you don't see this video, but it is what it is. Other than that, uh, I do want to add a side snare and I do want to add an eight inch tom, 13 or an 18 inch tom. I'm about to set up the drum rack. So I'm gonna show y'all guys the drum set first and I'm gonna let you guys see the before and then I'll let you see the after. All right, so I'm about to walk you through the drum set, how I look now, but when I put the drum rack up, it's gonna look totally different. And plus, I, I'm adding some more symbols to it. Yeah, man, so it's gonna be pretty dope. So I hope y'all dig this vlog video, and I hope y'all dig this drum set video. But anyway, here's the drum set. So as you can tell, man, right now, man, uh, I always, I call this the fish tank. It's a big old fish tank, right? So it got the plexiglass all the way around it, except for the back, but it got it on the side. And then you got the little oval shape going around, going around. You know what I'm saying? So you go around, then come over here. But I used to hate the uh, drum shields. But when they started making these, I actually fell in love with it. So I actually fell in love with the um, with this drum rack. And so this drum rack, I mean this drum enclosure, not drum rack, the drum enclosure. But the company that make them, I saw one online at a church and uh, they gave me the information. But I didn't know that cost that much. But man, it was a blessing for us, for my church. Simple reason because I got this drum enclosure, this big one, like, and I think this one is bigger than uh, the ones that the company make, if I'm not mistaken, because this joint is big. I could actually stick like two kick drums in there. Yeah, so I could actually stick two kick drums in there. Right now, I just got that one in the middle. But if I was to slide it over this way a little bit, I could add another kick drum. So that's why I say this one is bigger. But it was crazy because I got this drum shield. This church was getting rid of it. And they wanted like, I think like 2500 for it or whatever. But they, they was a blessing, they real nice people. I, and I forgot the name of the church. That's why I feel bad, because I got it last year. If, yeah, I got it last year. But when I got it, I got it for a great price, and I got it off Facebook Market. So I got this big drum enclosure from a church off of uh, Facebook Market, man. Yeah, I got this off of Facebook Market. Paid, got it for a steal too, guys. I ain't even gonna tell you the price. But put it this way, it was less than 18, less than $1,800. Yes, this, this big drum enclosure, man, it was less than $1,800. But anyway, man, so we go ahead and get through this video. All right, so let me show you guys the setup. All right, so this is my little Avion system. I really didn't care for this thing. 
I guess it's starting to dawn on me or whatever. But anyway, so this is my little music stand. This is where I stick my uh my clip tracks. I run my clip tracks from my tablet. So I normally have my tablet here. And here's the cord for it. I think that's, a, yeah, that's the cord for it. So I run my, I have my, uh, you see the music stand. I have my tablet there. Then I got the Roland SPDS pads there. All right, so the cymbals and the drums. This right here is a Maypex Armory series. And I walk, and I do some more uh, talking about this drum set. So these cymbals are mine. These are not the churches. I repeat myself. These symbols are not the churches. These are my personal symbols. And you probably wonder, like, well, why you guys zilgin if you always talk about Sabian and this and that? Well, what happened was I was getting ready to start a backline company. And so what I did, I ordered a uh, pack of zildjian symbols because I know people like zildjian, people like Sabian. So I had tried to get the two main companies. So that's why I have the um, the Zildjian symbols. I'm about to start a backline company, or whatever. But then I uh, I kind of like just backed away from it because I was too busy. And then again, it, it was gonna really conflict with my schedule. But I do rent out drums, so I'm not gonna say I don't. I still do it, but I wasn't like get. I was about to get into it like real heavy, but I just backed out of it because of it was just gonna be too much or whatever. Especially with me gigging, then I got to make sure the drums there all that great stuff so i didn't want to do that so you got a 16 17 got a 10 inch stat 14 inch hi-hats i got a 20 inch ride there 18 inch crash and the 18 inch efs the size of these drums are 10 12 14 16 22 and this is a tama snare drum my wife brought me this snare drum for uh, my birthday last year and it sounds great man it's a tamil star classic maple something i don't know but it sounds good though so she brought it for my birthday so i just brought it to church if this drum set does have a uh snare drum that came with it ledge hammer i think make pets call it whatever yeah so this right here is my drum setup man my every sunday i'm here and so we gonna go ahead and cut to this video and get this thing set up so i need to vacuum up in here and all that great stuff tommy's world <sighs> Now nah, I done swept it out. I did the best I could. That broom was like real weak. I wish that the custodian was here. I asked him, let me get a vacuum. So right now, man, I'm about to set up this uh, drum rack. And um, the drum rack I'm setting up is called the Pearl Icon Drum Rack. You know what? Let's set this rack up. Yeah, man, so right now, man, I just got finished setting this thing up. It took a little while because it is a drum rack, so you have to make sure everything is lined up, right? Because, like, once it's there, it's there, unless you move it. But other than that, it's there. It's better than symbol stand. So I'm about to walk you guys around this joint, let y'all see it. All right, you ready?
So yeah, man, this is set up, man. So I got my Avion system. I got my music stand for my tracks off my that I run off my iPad. Then I have my Roland SPDS. That stand is on the floor, so it's not connected. As you can see, that uh, short arm right there don't reach. I could get a long one like I got on my right side, but I, it's fine just like this. So that stand is on the floor, the hi-hat stand, and the snare stand, the foot pedal, and of course, drum throne, and the floor tom legs are on the floor. But other than that, man, so I'm gonna walk you guys through it. So it's the same setup uh, as the last, but I did add in this eight inch splash, which is a stag. I added a 14 inch EFX. Then I added the 16 inch FX stack. Man, believe it or not, man, that little thing sounds good. That's a 16 inch, but that thing sounds great though. But yeah, man, so this is the new setup. This is the new setup, man, for 2023. I had to do this video a little early because I got a dope video coming up at the end of the month. If everything go according to plan, man, I got a dope video coming up. But anyway, man, so. Yeah, and I got a big fat snare drum joint. But yeah, man, that's the new setup. New setup, man. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine cymbals, including the hi hats, but other than that, nine cymbals. Something a little different, man. Not that Pearl Icon drum rack. Made a huge difference. Made a huge difference. Made a huge difference, man. Floor space look clean. Look real clean. Anywhere, no way, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog on Tommy's World. Before this video ends, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like I always say, man, the subscribe button is free. It's free. Free. But yeah, it's free. But anywhere, no way, man. I hope you enjoyed this drum vlog. Another one with Tommy's World. Like I say, man, I got dope content coming up, man. I'm not stopping until... I would have to stop, but I, I talk about that later though. But as of right now, I'm gonna be vlogging a little more, man. Even if I don't have anything for the week, find something to talk about as far as dealing with drum, drum related stuff. And as I always say, man, keep Jesus first. You'll never fall. Another Tommy's World vlog. Let's go.